Welcome to London. Today we start at London Bridge, from there we head over to Tower Bridge to check out the views not only of this spectacular London icon, but also the views of the London skyline from up on the bridge. And then from there we will visit Maltby Street Market, one of London's most renowned street food markets. Now today is one of the windiest days of the year so far, so most of the audio from the journey to the market is so consumed by wind noise and wind cancellation you can barely hear me. But don't adjust your sets, what I'm saying on the way to the market is not really important, I'm mostly moaning about the wind. And the market is pretty well covered and insulating from the worst of the wind. The only reason I'm leaving the journey to the market in the film and not jumping straight to the market is for those of you planning to visit the market it may not sound great but visually it will give you a sense of both location and direction from two of London's landmarks Tower Bridge and London Bridge to the market. The views are pretty cool too but the wind today was fierce if this were a flight it would be cancelled but it's not so strap in and brace for some turbulence until we get to the market. London Bridge station is just there. In the shadow of the Shard building, one of Europe's tallest buildings, although that's a list, no building stays at the top of for very long. Um, this morning, well, it's nearly lunchtime, I'm going to head to two of. It's super windy today, it looks nice and sunny. It's very windy and very cold. I'm going to head to two of London's most, probably most fashionable street food markets right now. Um, just opposite London Bridge Station, here is Borough Market. That's not where I'm headed. I'm headed um, not too far around the corner um, to Maltby Street Market and um, Street. I can hit my bus. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to head um, to Hawk Street Market and Druid Street Market now. On the way, I'm going to uh, stop off at Tower Bridge um, to give you views of that. Yeah, it's super windy, so I'll stop talking now and head down there. Okay, I'm going to head down here to Tooley Street. One of the entrances to London Bridge Station is just down here on the right. The station was in fact originally called Tooley Street Station. I'm going to cut through Hayes Galleria to the River Thames. Originally these buildings down here were warehouses. This was once part of the London Docks and Hayes Galleria was a wharf, a dock into which ships could sail and be unloaded. This was the chief delivery dock for imported tea and at its peak around 80% of dry produce imported into London came through here, through this dock. As we come out of Hayes Gallery here to the River Thames, on our left is HMS Belfast, a historic 1930s Royal Naval Battleship, now museum which you can visit. And there on the skyline is Tower Bridge, arguably the most spectacular, most instantly recognisable bridge across the River Thames. Construction was completed in the 1890s. The challenge was ships with tall masts were sailing into the docks we just walked through. So this design was the solution, a bridge that could open and let ships sail in and close to let traffic across, which it still does today. It's on his last legs. Wind or sunshine. Um, I ordered a new one from Amazon. Um, there's a problem with Canon cameras at the moment. Um, if one doesn't turn. If one doesn't turn up soon. I'm gonna have to switch to Sony. Uh, but yeah, sunlight and wind are a problem for this camera, which are in abundance today. Just. Uh, Go with it. Um, it's not terminal, but uh, it's not great. 
Thankfully, just after filming this, my new camera arrived, although even the new one won't be able to cope with the wind speeds that we had today. Okay, up on Tower Bridge, the bridge itself looks phenomenal, and um, let's check out the views along the River Thames of the London skyline from up here on Tower Bridge. You'll be able to check out all the new skyscrapers, the, well, you've got the Tower of London, then the Gherkin, the Cheese Grater, the Walkie Talkie, and on the left, the Shard. Okay, from the Tower of London and Tower Bridge itself, Norfolk Street Market, Jewish Street Market, just a short walk. So let's go. Okay, from Tower Bridge, let's head down to Maltby Street Market. There's also a little market on Druid Street, which we can check out first. Maltby Street Market began in 2010, and it's evolved along Rope Walk and quickly become a Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon destination for street food. And the bars and restaurants in the railway arches are open until late. This road, this tunnel, runs beneath the railway that runs out of London Bridge and many of the railway arches down here are home to food and drink industry businesses, bakers, wine merchants, speciality fruit and veg traders, all supplying the London restaurant scene, which I guess is the very backbone of Maltby Street Market and many have turned their hand to a spot of street trading at weekends. There's a really interesting mix of food and drink on offer here. You've got the businesses open in the railway arches behind the street market, and the street market is a mix of street food and produce for sale. I'm going to have a quick whistle stop tour of this market, see what's on offer, and then I'm going to head over to Maltby Street Market, which is almost exclusively street food, and then bars and restaurants behind the street food market. There's just a little bit more choice in terms of street food, but if you're coming to one, they're so close to one another, you may as well do both.
Okay, this is the other end of Rope Walk to where we were at the beginning. Um, Mork Street Market, check it out, let's get some lunch. So welcome to Maltby Street Market. Rope Walk is effectively an access road for these railway arches and home to Maltby Street Market on Saturdays and Sundays. It's open from around nine till four on Saturdays and 11 till four on Sundays. It smells amazing. Here at Maltby Street Market, not only do you have all the fantastic street food stalls in Rope Walk itself, also on the right hand side, you've got some fantastic restaurants, bars and wine bars in the railway arches. And just down here on the left is one of the most popular bars and most famous bars in a reclamation yard. place here. Lascaux, I've been there quite a few times when the market's shut. It's a reclamation yard because they sell like, amazing architectural pieces to hotels and bars and restaurants. There's also a bar in it and all of the big art pieces are for sale. Cool bar. It's a bit early for me to get cracking but who knows what will happen later after some food. <laughs> Find some lunch. Right, okay, that was a uh, complete walkthrough from a walk rope, so Morgan Street Market. Um, that there is an amazing wine bar and restaurant called the Morgan Street. Been there a few times. straight through it, let's go and get some lunch.
first try. The goes and guys goes. I've got uh, five mixed. Plenty of chili sauce on top. Let's dig in. Okay, those guys have really wet my appetite. The smell of street food from out here is phenomenal. So let's head back into the market, see what else looks good, and maybe try something else. These Scotch eggs look incredible. Definitely recommend the Scotch eggs. 
mustard. Good combo as well. Turn this into one of those uh, what I ate in a day videos. Break the internet. They normally contain a <laughs> kale and quinoa, that kind of thing. The deep fried uh, Japanese snacks and uh, scotch eggs. Super busy. Okay, these grilled cheese sandwiches from the cheese truck, they sound incredible, they look fabulous, and they smell phenomenal, so I'm going to get in the queue for one. Okay, Cropwell Bishop Stilton, um, bacon and pear chutney from the cheese truck. Find my way out to uh, find somewhere to eat this one. <laughs> Looks great, it smells amazing. Bishop still, uh, bacon, and uh, head chutney. That's phenomenal. Everything I've had today is actually for lunch has been phenomenal. Gyoza from the Gyoza guys was great. The, um, the Scotch egg was amazing. Haggis Scotch egg. Finally, um, some grilled cheese. Grilled still. Enjoyed this trip to um, Morby Street Market and a uh, quick look at Druid Street Market. We're back on Druid Street now. Clear views of the shark from here. Check this out. Shard, London Bridge Station. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this trip to those two markets. So, thanks for watching, and until next time, toodles.